not guarding it. You're not, there's a down screen. Hauser, what are we, if we're not switching, then we're attached with our arms extended. So Murray can't curl. How's Jalen Brown supposed to get over this screen? You're not, Murray easily curls off this. Now you have no, this handoff is now just a layup line. Jalen Brown, the ball gets thrown to the wing. We're immediately dropping underneath the three-point line in the gaps. Seeing ball, seeing man. You're out hugging De DeJounte Murray. Look at this. Underneath. So you're busy hugging DeJounte Murray and fronting him. Tatum wants to switch this down screen, but you can't because he's screening two Celtics. <laughs> Wide open. Do you work on this? Do you work on this? Do you work on this? Jason Tatum in the gap. You're in drop coverage, which is disgusting. But Tatum playing the gaps. My feet have to be set so I can get out. I'm still going to be able to help. But you're you're going toward, look at your feet, not in defensive stance. You're going towards the ball as the pass is getting kicked out. Jalen Brown in transition gets stuck on Bruno Fernando. So we got to get up. We got to battle for position now. Battle for, you're, you cannot, you're just letting him walk you down low. Walk you down, now he's got you sealed. Throw it down, I don't even have to dribble. Just coaching Jalen Brown. That, he's in help. Jalen Brown is in help here. The dribble's getting picked up because Jalen Brown's in the gaps. So Porzingis, stay with Capella. Like, the help's there. Do, do you work on this. You know, this is just straight up coaching. There's nothing else to describe other than this is terrible coaching. Kristaps Porzingis, this is a down screen. Get attached with your arms extended so Bogdanovich can't curl. Look at this. How's Hauser supposed to get over this screen? Curl right off it. Create a two-on-one. Awful transition defense. Al Horford, stop pointing. Sprint back. Get in help. Porzingis should be up the line, stopping the ball. Horford should not be pointing. Get in help. And how about Jason Tatum? Let's get over to the wing and in help. Everyone's playing off, so now everyone's going to have to collapse at the rim when Bogdanovich gets there, and there's no one to box out again. You never, ever, ever, ever go over a handoff. I am jamming the screener using my body, showing my hand so Hunter's not pulling right off this, but then Jalen Brown, who's switching that down screen, goes under. You go over the top of the handoff. This is no different than a layup line. Celtics are in drop coverage, which is certainly repulsive, but what is Peyton Pritchard doing over here? Like, you're not a part of this screen at all. Could we see ball, see man, pointers out? Like, you're staring at the ball for no reason. Now you're going to gamble on the pass out to Bogdanovich. That was deplorable. It's just basic. This is just coaching. Like, okay, you switch this cross screen right here and off this down screen. This is just coaching. This is, re this is repulsive. Kristaps Porzingis, I must get attached to the screener and have my arms extended so Hunter can't curl. How is Pritchard supposed to get over this screen in time if you're letting DeAndre Hunter curl right off of it? It's just coaching. It's embarrassing. Shot goes up. Gang rebounding means everybody boxes out. If all five Celtics players box out, there is no chance for the offense to get the offensive rebound. When one Celtics player boxes out, a long rebound's always coming back to Atlanta. Just disgusting and miserable. Al Horford, your back is not to the ball. It is to the baseline. I'm seeing ball and man, and I'm in the gaps. This is, uh, this makes me want to cry. What are you doing? Get your back to the baseline. I'm right there in the gaps. You... <sighs> Peyton Pritch, Al Horford is rotating down. He's doing a great job getting in the gaps here. Like, see, so you know this. All I got to do is keep DeAndre Hunter to the middle of the floor where my help is. Look at this. You got one hand on his chest. So now it's, you're not forcing him to the middle of the floor. A rip through move. Now he can go baseline. Now Al Horford, as opposed to being able to help and recover, has to double. Away from the ball defensively. Away. I must have my feet. This is coaching. Feet, a pointer's out. Feet set defensive stance. I'm in the gaps, but then I can recover back out. Like, look at Al Horford. Tiptoeing up. To, look where his feet are going. Towards the ball and the kick out. Open three. Not getting out. You go into a game every time O'Shea Brissett and Jalen Brown are a part of a ball screen. It is a switch. 
You cannot talk and think about switches. Jalen Brown for even a half second here. Look at that. Isn't switching. So now Fernando's got inside position on the roll. The Celtics are, I mean, Sam Hauser's trying to ice the screen. So could Luke Cornett get up? You got to keep Bogdanovich to the sidelines. You got to get up. This is not icing. Look at this. What is Cornette doing? This is not icing a screen. This is Bogdanovich. Whoa, what? Layup line. You're not guarding this ball screen at all. You're not guarding it at all. See, I would ice the screen and actually do it right this time. Keep Bogdanovich to the sidelines here. I got nothing but backside help for Fernando's role. I mean, this you're not guarding. Look at this. Hauser gets screened. You're not guarding it. It just, what? Never, ever, you don't go over a handoff. Jam the screener using your body, showing your hands so Garrison Matthews isn't pulling right off this, and Mikhail Luke goes under and meets him on the other side. You're going over, it's wide open. This is not how you ice a ball screen. What are the Celtics doing? Kristaps Porzingis has got to get up. You're keeping Bogdanovich to the sidelines. Why does this keep happening? Do you work on icing screens? Look at this. It, he's got access to the middle of the floor and an open three. Stops poor Zingas has got, first of all, and the switch should be up guarding the ball handler, funneling him to the middle of the floor. I can still force DeJounte Murray to the middle of the floor. If I'm up, Jalen Brown's waiting to help, but you're not forcing him to the middle of the floor. You're letting him go away from all the help. So now I guess Al Horford's staring at the ball because he thinks he needs to help. I don't know. Because now he's not boxing out. Off the switch, first of all, why is Al Horford opening up away from the middle of the floor? Jalen Brown's in help. I, there's no place to go in the middle of the floor. But all right, you're giving him the strong side of the floor. Why is Peyton Pritchard hugging Bogdanovich? Like, you know Murray's coming this way. I've got to get my back to the baseline and over. My feet are set. I can help and recover. Stunt recover. Like, that's how it works. But I, what, what is, you? I don't understand. You know he's coming here. Where's Peyton Pritchard? Al Horford. <clears throat> Lose this game because Al Horford doesn't box out. Turn your body. You've got to use your butt. The lower half to drive Capella back. This is not a box out. You got to use the lower half of your body to move him backwards. He's moving you. Game over.